the Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development, a major shareholder of the Uganda National Oil Company, says yesterday's resignation of Dr. Josephine Wapakabulo as the organization's chief executive officer was a surprising development. We're a bit disappointed, that, uh, but, uh, but you know, um, people have their own reasons why they, they, they resign. And uh, certainly we'll have to look for an, another uh, uh, person to be able to take over from what she has done. And of course we want to thank her for, for the service that she has rendered to the institution uh, to bring it to where it is now. Uh, but uh, I think we'll have to uh, find somebody else to be able to take over from where she is going to live. State Minister of Finance in charge of general duties, Gabriel Ajedra, who was speaking on the sidelines of the launch of the budget month, adds that the development will not affect the oil production timelines. For example, the major investment decision regarding the refinery will be taken at the end of this year. And also with regard to the pipeline, the final investment decision is also going to be made in the, in the end of this year. So I think we, we are really on target to try to uh, speed up the, 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 the first oil activity. So that we can do that. According to the Director of Budget in the Ministry of Finance, overall tax and non-tax revenue collection for the past 10 months is at 13.4 trillion shillings to date, against a target of 13.1 trillion shillings. We are actually going to grow above 6%. Okay, specifically we are now looking at 6.3%. Now, so on that front alone, we are definitely, you know, hitting the target. Actually, we are 